Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It's Friday, it's cocktail hour, and we are excited that you are here with us. Hopefully you enjoy what we do. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. Today, Cody's got a invention of his own, um, built on a classic, but tweaked to our favorite running gag, so to speak, in this show. And that's adding some uh, things to it that you don't normally add. So, Cody, what do we got? So, we're going to have the B&B tonic. The B&B tonic. So, built on the classic gin and tonic, but with lots of All variations. Differences. Yeah. All right, so what are we starting off with? So, we're going to start off with the Benham's. Benham's barrel-aged barrel gin. gin. Yeah. Barrel finished gin. We did that on the advent calendar, and we just did a review not too long ago. Check those out. Uh, it's a spectacular gin. How much are you putting in? Oh. Just making sure it's clean. We got to go through our Cody check. I'm going to do an ounce and a half of this. As soon as we're making a double, I'll do three ounces. Ooh, going to finish that off. Still got some. An ounce and a half of the gin. Okay, an ounce and a half of barrel aged gin. We're using the Ben Ham. There's several different barrel aged gins out there you can try. Uh, ounce and a half. Half an ounce of rye. One we're half ounce of rye. Of course, rye. we're doing two, so you're going to do two ounces. Half an ounce of rye. <laughs> half an ounce. So Are you going to do a one. full ounce? Yeah, just one full uh, ounce. <laughs> I almost had him. He's going to add more rye later. Probably we're not. using bullet rye. And then a dash of lime. A dash of sques squashed, fresh squeezed lime juice. Yep. <laughs> See? Just squeezed it. That's more than a dash. Looks too dash. But just a dash of fresh squeezed lime juice. And then a dash of mint bitters. Dash of mint bitters. Mint bitters might be hard for you to find. We're using... I've seen it all over the place. Stop talking. We're using Fee Brothers. Fee yeah, Brothers. Fee Brothers. And then a spritz of absinthe. A spritz of absinthe. So let's it's do a, it on the glass. Are you going to keep that ice in there? Yeah. Okay. We normally um, add rye to everything, but I like absinthe, so we tend to add absinthe every once in a while. So we need some ice in the shaker. Give it that old professional shape. Yeah. You gotta make that noise too. Nope. He barely shook that. It's pretty frosty. You wanna shake him more? No. <laughs> so you're putting it in a tall boy with ice. It's kind of sandy, muddy color because of that. Uh, both of them. Yeah, because of both of them. And then top with tonic water. Top with tonic water. And this is the first time we've actually had it to a full recipe. Yeah, he was trying this uh, several weeks ago before I left, coming up with different concoctions. He likes to mad scientist stuff up. He started out just adding things. I just made a regular gin and tonic with the barrel finished gin and then went to crazy. That's refreshing. Might be a hair too much mint bitters, but that's pretty refreshing. Not really getting the absinthe taste, but... Kind of tastes like a York peppermint patty. Yeah. <laughs> the complex of the rye and the barrel-aged gin and even the um, uh, lime juice is taking away that kind of bitterness um of the tonic. Kind so of a fine it... tonic bitter to me. Not like not like every other mm -hmm. thing you add. But it's giving that a nice cool refresh. This is a great summer drink. Not in a January day with 40 degree weather. It's still not bad. No, this is really good. It so tastes this like is... a peppermint patty though. <laughs> Could call yeah. it a peppermint patty. So we actually have fresh mint and fresh chocolate mint. Chocolate mint might be good. However, the coldness of January has 
almost killed my plants, so we're not wanting to touch it very much, and we're kind of trying to nurse them back to health. Left so that outside. might... Hmm? Left them outside. I didn't leave them outside. So that might be something that you could do as an alteration to um, a mint bitters is add a sprig of mint or chocolate, chocolate mint. mint. Um, the other thing is, obviously, fresh squeezed... Squeezed. Fresh squeezed... I can't squeeze. say that. Fresh squeezed I, lime might be um, pretty good. You saw me squeeze it. It was fresh squeezed. But this is... I got a piece of ice in my mouth. Spectacular. The bourbon and booze... B&B ton B tonic. The B&B tonic. The B&B tonic. And when he created this, he created like four other types of cocktails. So I look forward to those. Hopefully you enjoy this and give it a try. Again, if you don't have... Um, the mint bitters, um, you can put a fresh sprig of mint. Um, I would definitely look for a barrel aged gin. Um, it tastes spectacular, but you can always try it with just a regular gin. Um, probably um, a craft gin that's not very junipery would be best. But yeah, try that out. Um, tell us what your favorite variations of a gin and tonic are, or variations of a whiskey sour. Not whiskey sour, whiskey tonic, because this is also basic melding the two. And let us know what you think. Make sure you watch all of our other videos. We're having some great videos coming up, and we just got some in our this past week. Uh, tomorrow, hoping, there should be a new series that will occur twice a month on a Saturday, every other Saturday, um, kind of like a distillery spotlight. So make sure you check that out tomorrow. Hopefully I can get that all done. I'm still working on it. And check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. Any last words, partner? No? It's good. It's good. It's really good. Have a great weekend. Cheers.